what is up my ninja shinobi here and today this video is my reasons why you should roll a necromancer in season 17 all of the benefits behind it and why necromancer is a very solid and good choice if you're still deciding on what you'd like to play in season 17 that's what i'm going to be playing for the beginning of the season for a big chunk of the season and then I'll be able to move into other things. So throughout this video, I'm going to be explaining some of these reasons. If you don't find a Necromancer to be fun whatsoever, and you don't care about some of these benefits here, then disregard the video. However, hear me out. Maybe you might change your mind, and maybe, just maybe, you might decide to roll a Necromancer in Season 17. All right, so these are not in any particular order as to reasons. However, let's go ahead and start off from the beginning here. So... Necromancers benefit very strongly from the challenge rift. Now, what am I talking about with this? So this week, do not do your challenge rift until Friday on the launch on May 17th. That'll be the launch of season 17. Then do your challenge rift so that you can get all your goodies from your bag, all your materials from that bag, the challenge rift cash. And then you can give your character that you're leveling up a little bit of an advantage. So what you're going to get from this, you're going to get a number of things. You're going to get some materials and you're going to get some gold. And you're going to get some stuff that's going to allow you to level up your blacksmith. Once you get your blacksmith leveled up, then you're going to craft a level 70 rare two-handed scythe. You'll be able to do this once by upgrading in the cube. And you'll get one of four two-handed scythes that are actually quite good for leveling and also past the leveling process, like Relina's Shadow Hook, which is just used in many Necromancer builds. You also get the Petrified Spike, which makes your Bone Spear do a massive amount of damage, and you get Bone Spear right away at level two on the Necromancer. You'll also be getting the Blood Tide Blade, which is a big damage to Death Nova, even though you don't get Death Nova to, I believe, level 12. And then you're going to be getting the Black Death Two-Handed Scythe. So you're going to get one of these scythes, and all of them are pretty beneficial while leveling up in the leveling process. You will have to make sure you go get your cube, though. But this is part of the reason why necromancer is very beneficial for getting initially to level 70 if you want to level something else after that you could power level your friends and then they could power level you something else but just having this initial you know necromancer right off the bat to level really quickly during this process is really really beneficial and like i said if you get a relina shadow hook you get a petrified spike those are very nice for the leveling process and even further beyond that then the next beneficial thing here that we definitely have to talk about which is a big contributor towards this is for your season journey you're going to be getting the anarius set which is pretty awesome for a couple of reasons because for one right before the ptr went down blizzard buffed the anaria set by a massive amount and it's actually quite good i tested it out on the ptr and it's going to allow you to get some places uh, especially in the early parts of the season this is going to help you know perpetuate you further into all the other stuff that you want to do and on top of that, if you guys remember a video I made last year, about last year or whatever, when the Necromancer came out, the Lazy Storm build, well, it's even stronger now because of this. So now Lazy Storm, not only is Lazy Storm one of the most fun builds to play in the game, it's super chill and relaxing to just farm with, but this is a very beneficial thing to have right away in the beginning of the season when you do your, do your season journey. So definitely recommend the Necromancer for that particular reason there because you're going to be able to just farm like crazy and just kind of get things rolling at a pretty good pace. And if you haven't seen that video, go back. There's a link in the description down below. I'll leave it there for you so you can go back and check out that video as to how that works. The same setup still works. You can make a few tweaks to it nowadays that are even a little bit more beneficial. And maybe I'll make a Lazy Storm point, a 2.0 video uh, before the season comes out or when the season starts. So the next benefit to you having this Anarius Lazy Storm build so quickly into the season is that you're you've got to remember that this season is a season of nightmares it's about farming those legacy and nightmare items those ancient items or primal items and if you plan on playing a witch doctor or a wizard or a necromancer or a z monk or a z barb 
you're going to be able to effectively farm quite a few of those items while playing the Necromancer with your Inaria set early into the season. I'll give you an example of a few items you can farm that can be used between all these characters, Aquila Curious, Parthon Defenders, Tasker and Theo, St. Arches, Mage Fist, Cinder Coat, COE, Unity, Illusionary Boots, Leoric's Crown, and Dario's Visage, Necromancer, I mean, Z-Barb items, Z-Monk items, the list goes on. There's a lot of items, and you get the point there, that there's a lot of items that you can farm, a lot of, of the ancient items you can farm throughout the season uh, while just playing a Necromancer by itself, and that's really awesome. And playing a build like Lazy Storm to do this just makes it even sweeter. Next reason here is Necromancer is used in all group play compositions. They are the RGK in pushing groups. They're DPS or support in things called rat runs. Which rat runs is the best way to actually gain Paragon throughout the season. This consists of three Necromancers and a Z-Barb. So you're going to need three Necromancers in your group. So Necromancers are going to be a sought after thing in the season. Um, so definitely another reason why Necromancer is a good choice. You're going to be doing, uh, you can do Lawn Lancer, you can do Thorns for your RGK and your pushing compositions. Uh, and then you can also do, uh, like I said, DPS or Z uh, Necromancer in the Rat Runs. And that's with using the uh, Lawn uh, singularity mages and just spamming through and doing like 100s and some things uh, like in two minutes or less it's just super fast and super strong and on top of that that moves into the next thing here which is that necromancers are getting a huge buff this season because of legacy of nightmare this means you don't have to use your uh, your two rings, it's, it frees up two ring slots, allowing you to just make an already strong class, the Necromancer, Lawn Necromancer, even stronger by adding additional things. Like, for instance, in solo play, before you couldn't use a convention of elements on a Lawn Lancer on Necromancer, now you can. So you have the benefit of convention of elements and your Christ spins, and then maybe use like a Unity or maybe use something else, whatever. That is pretty amazing uh to be that's a huge buff to be able to add convention of elements to anything is a huge buff so that is a another really awesome beneficial idea for you going into the season and you know just something else for you to consider the lawn thorns got even stronger as well which is the other good uh other the better pushing build for solo as well so necromancer is just in a really good place and finally last but not least but they're just fun they're a strong they're one of the strongest classes in the season they just got even stronger with this whole legacy of nightmare thing and they're used in so many different situations and definitely super beneficial probably the fastest class class from leveling from 1 to 70 probably going to be the best farmer in the beginning of the season with something like anarius lazy storm uh, and probably on top of that, you're going to be able to farm a lot of Legacy and Nightmare items through the different classes that you want. And they're the most sought after and needed class in group play compositions. So it's win-win everywhere. So maybe this helped you guys decide if you wanted to maybe roll a Necromancer next season. I'm definitely going to be. I'll be running with my four-player group composition with my team with Vanderforge, Ken Masters, and Shan's Immortal. But then I'll be doing group play stuff with you guys, the viewers on my stream as well. We'll be doing rat runs and, you know, doing lazy storm runs and things like that. It's going to be a good time, so make sure you guys check it out. And if you haven't done already, make sure you check out my Discord. This is an awesome place for you to connect to people in my community, to have people to play with when the season comes out. And also, my community is within uh, Diablo 3, Shinobi's Ninja Army community, and also the Shinobi Ninja Army clan we are recruiting now currently. So make sure you look for those and join us up for the new season. We definitely would want to have more Necromancers because you really can't get enough, especially if you're doing rat runs and sharing loot amongst each other. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Good luck in Season 17. And as always, my name is Shinobi, and thanks for watching.